Hello, everybody. How are you today? It is a special week because we have to find out what comes after the letter, letter O. Okay. So be thinking about that. I'm going to be giving you clues throughout the class to see if you can figure it out. Okay. So let's start out with our hello song. Let's grab our music bag. And you can choose any instrument you would like to. I'm going to find my shaky eggs. These are shaky eggs right here. Okay. And let's march today so we get up and move around. Okay. Remember, marching is when we lift up our legs like this. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, everybody. Let's put away our instrument. Unless you want it for our other songs, but that's okay too. Okay. Let's go to our question of the day. Hmm, this is another clue of where we will be going today. What kind of pet do you have? Can you tell me? I gave you some pictures right here to look at. Hmm. I see a what? A fish? Oh, what's this? A dog? What's this one? A bunny? Uh huh. And who's this? And a cat? And this little guy who's hiding behind the rabbits is a bird. Hmm. Can you guess what animal or pet I have in my house? A dog. Good. What do you have? Oh, cool. I also have this one over here fish. I have a big goldfish who hangs out in his aquarium all by himself. <laughs> okay, that's for tomorrow. Now, in order to start our class, we need to say the Pledge of Allegiance. So let's take our flag, right hand on our heart, that's another clue that we're going to talk about today. And let's say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good job. Okay. Does anybody know what today's month is? Can you see that way back here? Let me put on our, our document camera so you can see what our calendar looks like today. Let's see here. Let's turn on our light so that's a little brighter. Oh, there's our month hiding under my computer. This is April, okay? And we need to go all the way down here to April 18th, 2002. So please take a marker and write the number 18. So we make a big line down, like a little stick, okay? To make our one. And then do you remember what this number is? The eight. So make an S type shape and then come up and close the gate. It's like a race racetrack. <laughs> That's a fun number, especially with a car that you can zoom around. 
Okay, let's do our days of the week and months of the year song. Ready to go. There we go. Okay, so let's first see if I can move this for you. That's in the way. Oop, there we go. Okay, so here's our days of the week right here. This screen right here. Let's do Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job seeing that. And today was Monday. It's Monday. And if it's a different day for you, because it's, you watch it on a different day, you can find which day it is, okay? Now let's try the months of the year. Can you see April? Find April. Oh, look for the letter A, the big A right here. Hmm. Oh, there's an A. That doesn't look the same, though. Oh, that's April right here. Okay, so let's do January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Woo. Okay, now it is time for our magic curtain. Call it Oh Magic Curtain. Where do you think we're going today? Hmm, it starts with the p, p sound, and we already talked about what pet you have at home. Hmm, let's see. Oh, way over. Let's see here. There we go. Can you see where we are today? Where do we go? I see a dog and a cat and a fish. It's a pet shop. Pet shop. Pet starts with P. Okay, so we're going to do some P word activities today and talk about different pets. Hmm, let's take a look at inside of our magic bag. <clears throat> Find out our letter first. Can you help me say it? Magic bag, magic bag. What is the letter for today? Hmm, where is that? <gasps> I see it. Here it is. What letter is this? Hmm, we said it says p, p. Hmm, and there's a p, p, pig. Can you say p, p, pig? Here are my pig ears. I'm a unicorn pig today. P, p, pig. Or we could say P, P, Pan, okay, P, P, Pan. Hmm, now let's sing our Where is P song, ready? Where is P, where is P? Here I am, here I am. What does P say? What does P say? P, 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 P. Remember, if you want to sing that over again, stop the video, go backwards, and restart the song, okay? Hmm, I wonder who our P pet friend is today. And it's a P, P, puppet. Puppet starts with P. Hmm, I found her. 
you have this in your goodie bag, okay? And I have, oops, let me find right here. Can you say Peggy the pig? <gasps> Good job, Peggy the pig. Okay, can you say my rhyme? Peggy the pig, pig, pig was quite a dud, dud, dud. She liked to dig, 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 right in the mud, mud, mud. Do you hear the? rhyming words that say the same sound like pig and dig and dud and mud. Hmm. Let's try that again. Peggy the pig, pig, pig was quite a dud, dud, dud. She liked to dig, dig, dig right in the mud, mud, mud. Ooh. Thank you, Peggy the pig, for sharing all of those P sounds. <gasps> pig starts with P. P, P. Pig. And Peggy does too. Let's put our little friend back in here, okay? We'll hide all that in there. And let's see what's next here. Oh, it's who eats what? What pet eats this food? It's a little game that you're going to run around with. You need to take out your bag and find the cards that look like this, okay? So let's see here. What you're going to do is mommy or daddy is going to take all of these cards and hide them around your room, okay? And if you look, you're going to find the shape and the food that matches the animal with the shape, okay? Do you see two circles? And the fish eats fish food, okay? So I want you to spread those all around the room. And then when I say go, you're gonna run around and see if you can match everything. You're going to find the food for a horse, the food, which is a, let's see here, what shape is that? A diamond. Can you find the square with the parakeet bird as a pet too? And it's food. Find the circle with the fish and it's fish food. The bunny has a star. So find the bunny food with the star. So as you can see, here are some more of our food cards, okay? So you're going to find a rectangle, a star, a squirrel, a squirrel, a square, oh my. <laughs> what am I saying? <gasps> Ooh, who has the rectangle? The cat. So find the cat's food. Oh, here's the triangle food. And then go find the doggy with the triangle with their food. Hmm, and who eats the hay? Okay, are you ready? Get it all spread out. Set. Go. Run, 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 run. Be very careful though, you don't fall. Go find all of the matching animals. Hurry, hurry. You can pause the video now, okay? And then when you're done, we can match them together, okay? Okay, I'm back. Can everybody look right here? Yeah, and let's see if we can match what the doggy eats. Oh, here's the doggy food and the doggy with the tri triangle. Mm -hmm. And let's 
here. Oh, the cat and her food, and that's a ruff, ruff, rectangle. Oh, who's this? A pet. Bunny, a rabbit, and the bunny eats this kind of food, and they match with their st st star. Oh, who's there? The fish, and the fish has a circle. Okay, and the horse eats hay and has a diamond. And the parakeet bird eats this kind of food. And you can see the squares, okay? Good job, everybody. <clears throat> okay, now it's time to sing bingo. Do you know the song bingo? Can't make myself bigger. Now you can use an instrument, but we're going to need to use our hands as a, an instrument too, because Bingo uses five letters, B-I-N-G-O, and then we need to clap on the letters, okay, when we take away the letters. So watch what we do. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name, oh, B-I-N-G-O, B-I-N-G-O. B-I-N-G-O and bingo was his name Oh, Now let's take the B off of bingo and clap, ready? There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name Oh, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O, I-N-G-O and bingo was his name Oh, Okay, now take off the I, so we're going to clap two times. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, N-G-O, N-G-O, N-G-O and bingo was his name. Oh, ready? Now we have to take the N off. So B-I and N. So clap three times. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh, G-O. Geo, Geo and Bingo was his name. Oh, there was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, take off the G now. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, there. Oh, take off the wow. So that's all of the letters now. So you'll clap. There was a farmer had a dog and bingo was his name. Oh. And bingo was his name. Oh. Woo! Yay. Let's see here. We have our story and our dog puppet. So I need you to pull out your paper bag. And you have a paper dog puppet. Okay. We need to cut out our shapes and glue them to make a dog face on our puppet bag. Okay. So let's get our scissors. And before you cut, you need to color. So you can choose whatever color you want. That's fine. Let me move this over here. And let's see here. This looks like the head is an oval. Practice coloring in the lines. Marker is not coloring very well today. We can go through and color the outside too, if that helps you. What color is a dog usually? 
There's brown dogs and black dogs. Uh, yellowish whitish colored dog and oh, Clifford is what color red oh yeah I think this brown marker is almost done and then I need to color the ears how many ears does a dog have two so color the floppy ears Went off out of my mind. Dogs can have polka dots too. A Dalmatian is white with black polka dots. So you can make a Dalmatian if you wanted to. So a puppet starts with P. Do you see the P right there? And paper starts with P. Lots of P words. Here's the nose and the two eyes. And what is this? Is that the mouth? Is that the mouth? Hmm. Okay. Where did I put our scissors? So remember, we're careful with our scissors. When we walk with them, we hold them on the point so we don't get hurt. Okay. And when we hold them, you put your thumb in here and you can put your two fingers and we go open, shut, open, shut. That is how we cut. Okay, so we need to cut out our pieces right along the line. Be very careful you don't cut it in half. If you need help with mommy and daddy, that's fine too. And it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to look like mine. So there's that one ear. Maybe this is the tail. Hmm. You can make it the tail or the mouth. You decide. Hmm. Open, shut, open, shut. That is how we cut, cut, cut. Cut out the nose. This is kind of like a bare nose. Two. You can get out your glue too. It can be either the glue stick or Elmer's glue that is very wet, but you have to be careful that you don't put too much glue, just little dabs. Otherwise it'll take way too long to dry. We are garbage. So we don't have as much to clean up. And there we go. But find your glue and your paper bay. Put my glue stick. Move that out of the way. So we want to put the rubber back of our head. Put that right there. And then put on our little ears. Oh, do you see how it's turning into a dog? The other ear, actually. There we go, that looks more like a dog. Sometimes we have to try it different ways. Okay. And my nose. Let's 
So yeah, that's the mouth and the nose. Let's put on our eyes. And a dog needs its tail. So turn over your paper bag and stick on your tail. There we go. So now you have your paper. Go up right there. You can open it up gently. Come on, man, talk like a dog. Whoop, whoop, whoop. See here. Now it's time for a story. This is a very, very silly story. <laughs> this is called Jack of All Tales. Hmm. She's pretending to be a dog. Remember, this is the front cover. This is the title page. Oh, it looks like he's singing a what? a dog and pretending to catch the frisbee. They're using their imaginations, aren't they? Oh, we got it. That's silly. So here's the family. My family is a bunch of animals for the right price. We snuffle and snuggle and snort for a living. Well, that's different. It all started when Pickles had puppies. Pickles is the bulldog who lives with the Diener family. One day I heard Mrs. Diener say to my dad, I don't know a thing about puppies. Oh, let us help. We're good with animals, I said. Later dad asked me, why did you say that, Chrissy? We don't even have a Sorry, I said, the puppies were so cute, I got carried away. Two puppies or not, try to slow down and think first, said dad. But we did help. Since the puppies were too little to play, we showed the Diener kids what would happen when the puppies got older. My brother, Eddie, fetched a tennis ball. We usually catch with our hands, not our mouths like a dog, that's silly. Mom played tug of war with an old sock. Oh my. Dad did tricks like rolling over and begging. People don't do that. That's a silly job. With a squirt bottle, I taught the kids about puppy puddles. Then I chewed up Ralphie Diener's spelling list. Uh-oh, that's not a good thing. No, no, bad puppy, said Mrs. Diener. Too late. I'd eaten every word except buttress. Oh, dear. Don't want to let your dog eat your homework. It was kind of fun acting like a dog today, Eddie said at dinner that night. I don't think I want to act like a dog all the time. Mm -mm. I want to act like me. <laughs> Yes, I think Christy was right. We are good with animals, said dad. I have another idea I offered. Uh-oh, what have you cooked up now, mom asked. So I told them my idea for a family business. We can be people trainers, you know, teach them how to take care of their pets. My parents looked at each other. Maybe it would work, said mom. I guess we could try it on the side, said dad. It's okay with me as long as it pays, said Eddie. It didn't take long for word to spread about our new company. I put an ad on the back of my jacket. That along with some posters, a website and a sign on our van. That did the trick. So their company is called Jack of All Tales. Our first paying customers were the McGinn family. They adopted a cat from the animal shelter. Can you help my daughter with her new kitty the way you help the Diener children, Mr. McGinn asked? So we did. Eddie chased a marble under the sofa. 
Mom pounced on a string. Oh my, what animal normally pounces on a string? People don't do that. A cat, mm -hmm. there's the cat. So they're trying to teach them how to do that. Dad flopped down in a sunny spot to nap. Oh, a cat loves to take naps. So now they're pretending to be a kitty cat. I showed how frisky a cat can be. I frolicked around legs and lamps and chewed on spider plants. No, no, bad kitty, said Mr. McGinn. Too late, I'd already pulled down the drapes. Oh no, they're getting themselves into all kinds of trouble. Does your dog or cat get in trouble all the time? At home, mom swabbed my neat skinned knee and said, maybe you need to learn more about animals, Christy. What a great idea. I sat in the vet's office for an hour, studying the pets in the waiting room. <laughs> they don't really like that. Next, I visited the zoo. Even though no one is likely to hire me as a hippo, I can do a great roar. I had spent a long time watching the monkeys. By the end of the day, I could spit a peanut over a whole class of second graders. <laughs> what? <laughs> now what animal is she doing? Can you see that? The monkey. Oh my, he's silly. Let's see here. Even Eddie stays busy doing reptile jobs after school. Oh my, is our tongue, tongue really that long? Well, maybe busy isn't the right word. All he does is lie underneath a heat lamp, munch turtle pellets. Anybody can do that. Ew, I wouldn't want to do that. When Ted came home from work last week, I helped him unload the van. Oh, what's he trying to pretend to be here? What pet? A turtle? I'm not good at anything, I said. I'm a poor puppy, a crummy cat, a lousy lizard, and a perfectly pitiful pig. Oh, I heard lots of he sounds like Dad laughed. You're not bad at those things, Christy. You're just a bit too eager. You need to find a way to use all that energy with your own special talents. The next day, I went for a jog. I thought and I ran. I ran and I thought. Then it came to me, the perfect job. So now I'm in training. I know I've got the talent. Hmm, what do you, what pet do you think she's going to pretend to be? She likes to run. Hmm, oh, <laughs> it runs in the family. What animal likes to run on there? A hamster or gerbil? Do you have a hamster or gerbil? That was a very, very silly story. <laughs> Okay, now what I want you to do is go in your bag and find all of the pink hearts. So you need to lay them down like hopscotch. Let me show you like this. So we would go one, let's count with me too, okay? Two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So lay these down on the floor just like this, okay? And then what you're going to do is throw your bean bag or a stuffed animal. So I could take my dog. No, oh, I'm going to use a pom-pom since I'm on a small area. But you put yours spread out on the floor, okay? And I'm going to toss it. Oh, I landed on the one. 
So I won't jump on the one, okay? I'll jump on two, three, then four, then five, five six, then seven, eight, nine, and then 10, okay? This is a little hard to show, okay? But what you would do is when you put your hearts down on your floor, you go one, and then two, three, okay? Well, we can't see right there. One, two, three with both your legs, and then four is on one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10. Okay, so practice jumping on your number hearts. So, what do you think our shape of the day is? a heart and what color is the heart each of the hearts they are the color hmm. magic bag magic bay what is the color and shape today let's take a look at this right here can you see those Oops. there's our heart and it's also the color pink. Who likes pink? And what am I wearing? The color pink. Stand up tall, stand up tall. If you're wearing pink, if you're wearing pink, stand up tall, stand up tall. If you're wearing pink, if you're wearing pink, God. okay. So you can pause the video and play with your hopscotch game, okay? Or you could even just, if you don't want to play hopscotch anymore, you could throw your your pom pom ball on one of the numbers and say oh, number three. Oh. What did I land on here? Number six. Okay, you can do different games with this. Let's see here. When you land on one of these, if you don't wanna um, hot scotch with it. Oh, I landed on number seven. So I could clap seven times or I could hop seven times. Hmm. I could bark seven times. Woof, 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 woof. Okay. So lots of different things you can do. Hop like a bunny pet. So let me get that out of the way. Put our heart and pink right back on each other. And I need you to pull out your pom poms and your build a heart. Okay, this worksheet right here. here so you need red four reds and four blue pom-poms there we go and go ahead and build them let's see here let's start up here airy Heart is my name with a point at the bottom and two hums on top. When it comes to love, I can't be stopped. Okay. Actually, let's do the pattern. So let's start on red, blue, red, blue, red blue, red, blue, and that makes our heart. Can you take your finger and trace your heart? Remember, this is Harry Heart. Harry Heart is my name with a point at the bottom and two hums on top. When it comes to love, I can't be stopped. 
Okay, so you can rewind and try that again. Now I have a little movement. You can take a brain break. Good idea to drink water. We get thirsty, don't we? <laughs> okay, now while I read our story <laughs> about Pete the cat and the perfect pizza, I want you to be coloring your letter P. with the red crayon. And there is a reason why you are going to do this. So P is for P -P pizza. So let's see here. Here, turn it. Okay. So you're going to the red pizza sauce on your letter P because we are going to make pizza. you to glue on some cheese just like this and you can draw in your pepperonis or mushrooms or what else could we put pineapple and ham yep i don't have any top more toppings in here so you decide what the perfect pizza topping is. And while I'm reading it, maybe it'll show us something and it'll give you an idea of what you can, can do on there, okay? Pete the cat and the perfect pizza party. Mm, oh my, look at all the toppings. Strawberries, grapes, watermelon pizza, chocolate, eggs, baked beans, Peppers, pineapple, french fries, sweet peas, bacon, ketchup, olives, a smelly sock pizza, oh, yuck, a cupcake pizza, apples, cheese, rocks, ouch, you'd break your teeth, fish pizza, mm. mushroom is one of my favorite, broccoli, pepperoni, my kids love to eat pepperoni, Onions, blueberries. Hmm. What do you like to put on your pizza? Do you see it? I know I like eggs on it when it's a breakfast pizza. I like to mix my pepperoni and mushrooms and olives and broccoli. I like peppers. Let's see here. So Pete the cat and the perfect pizza. Oh, and Pete starts a P too. Listen carefully. Pete the cat loves pizza. Pete the cat loves parties too. Pete had an idea of what he could do. Ooh, he's thinking. These are called little bubble thinking bubbles. Okay, or thought bubbles. He would have the perfect pizza party. Here's the invitation. You are invited to Pete's pizza party. Let's have fun and listen to music and bring your swimsuit and play games. Ooh, have you ever done a pizza party with all that? 
Pete's friends all arrived. Who are his friends? A bird and a cat and a squirrel, a frog and a crocodile. <laughs> it was time to build the perfect pizza together. That would make the pizza even better. Pete thought the perfect pizza would be pepperoni with extra cheese. Mm, so he likes that kind of pizza. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni pizza party. Pin the tail on the unicorn. But everyone did not agree. Uh-oh, is it the perfect pizza party? Kaylee said, pepperoni would be just fine, but I really love pretzels on mine. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pretzels? Well, that's something new, but maybe pretzels could be groovy too. What do you think? Do you, would you like pretzels on your pizza? It's always worth a try. It's a party, it's a party, a pepperoni pretzel pizza party. Oh, now they're swimming. Squirrel said pepperoni and pretzels would be just fine. But I really love pistachios on mine. Hmm, I like pistachios, but I'm not sure if I like them on my pizza. Pete and the gang were puzzled. Pistachios? Well, that's something new, but maybe pistachios could be groovy too. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel pistachio pizza party. Look at all those peas. Whoa, lots of P words. Grumpy Toad said, pepperoni, pretzels, and pistachios would be just fine, but I really love pickles on mine. Oh, pickles starts with P. P and the gang were puzzled. Pickles? Well, that's something new, but maybe pickles could be groovy too. Ready? It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel, pistachio pickle pizza party. <laughs> Ooh, they're trying to throw the ball in the holes. I see two squares and a circle. Would you like to play that game? Gus said pepperoni pretzels, pistachios and pickles would be just fine but I really love popcorn on mine. Ooh, Pete and the gang were puzzled. Popcorn? Well, that's something new, but maybe popcorn could be groovy too. Look at all of these things that they're putting on the pizza. Hmm. Ready? It's a party, a party, a pepperoni pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn pizza party. And it says pizza party bus. Oh. Alligator said pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, and popcorn would be just fine. But I really love papaya on mine. Mm. Now Pete and the gang were really puzzled. Do you know what puzzled means? That means they're confused. Do you see all the little question marks? Papaya? Well, that's something new, but maybe papaya could be groovy too. It's nice that the friends are working together and trying something new. Hmm. Instead of going, ew. Oh, now they're on the bounce house. It's a party, a party, a pepperoni, pretzel, pistachio, pickle, popcorn, papaya, pizza party. Pete and the gang piled the pepperoni, pretzels, pistachios, pickles, popcorn, and papaya on top. The pizza was so high, they had to stop. Ding! The pizza was done. Trying something new might be fun. They all built up the courage to take a first bite. And the <laughs> pepperoni pretzel pistachio pickle, popcorn, papaya pizza was. Do you think they like it? Do you think you would like it? Out of sight, 
dynamite. Just right. In the end, the perfect pizza is a pizza shared with friends. Mm. Mm. So what kind of pizza would you make with your letter P? I think I'm going to draw mushrooms on my pizza cat over there. Okay, now we need to practice our letter P and see if you can write it in your Play-Doh to make it. Okay, so this is the paper that you need. You need your Play-Doh. Pull that out. Oops, my Play-Doh's all dried up. Uh-oh. So you can take your Play-Doh and roll it. Oops, mine's all crumbly. Okay, so put it along your line here, make a big line down, frog jump, and then we're going to make a little curve. There, so big line down, frog jump, little curve. Okay, that's a big P. Can you say big P? Big P, big P. Yep. Now, let's try our small P. And it actually looks just like that, but it's down lower on the line, okay? You can't really see the line. Do you see how the little P is down here and the big P is inside the lines? Okay, so now let's make a big line down. And then a little curve, just like that, okay? So that one you also do big line down, frog jump, little curve, just like the big P. Can you say, small P, small P, pa, pa, pa. okay? Now let's push this so you can see my letter P's. And we are going to pick a color, or you can use your pencil. <gasps> pencil starts with P. Find your dot, make a big line down, frog jump, little curve. There we go. Now try your small P. Now the small P starts on the dotted line in the middle. Okay, the middle of these two lines. So big line down, front jump, and a little curve. Okay, and keep doing that with your other letter P's. Put away our Play Doh so it doesn't dry out. Now I need you to find all about, what do you think that number is? Hmm, let's see here. First, let's uh, practice our numbers, okay? Count with me. You can tap your head. 
or touch your nose every time we say the number. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Hmm, what number did we see? That is our number for today. Hmm, oh, it's a five. Can you trace that with your finger? Little line, little line. Belly. So we could say head, neck, belly. Head, neck, belly. So let's practice writing your name here, okay? And then coloring the word five. Okay. We have F, I, D, And that's five. Now we need to make five. We have 10 squares here and we need to put five circles. Can you hold up five fingers for me? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. There you go, you can color them in too if you would like to. And then find it. Where is the number five? Can you find the circle? Oh, is that the number five? No, it's flipped. Okay. Five. Five. Is that the number five? No. Is this the five? Mm hmm. What about this one? Five, five. What about this one? No. Is that a five? Yes. Good. Okay. Now we want to count the fives. So one, two, three, four, five. Can you color five parts? One, two, three, four, and five. Good. So there's two left over here. And now we're going to make our little fives down here. Can you write the five? Remember, head, neck, belly. Head, neck, belly. Head, neck, belly. And keep going, okay? Keep practicing those. And we have one last thing to do in our class. And because we are doing pee with pizza, I want you to pull out your pizza plate with your pepperoni pizza plate that's all cut up. And what you're going to do is count the circles on your pizza slice. Um, nom, 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 pretend to eat it. You can serve mommy and daddy your pizza. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Which one of these is number four? Hmm. Listen for the number when I count. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. Where's the number four? 
there it is, four and four. So put your four dots on top of the number four. What's next? Oh, one circle. Where's the number one? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Did you find it? There it is. One and one circle on your pizza. That's your pepperoni. Oh, what's this? One, two, three. Can you find the three? Yep, right here. Good. Put your three pepperonis on the pizza. Mm, I'm getting hungry. And one, two. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Good job. Put your two pepperonis on. And the last one. One, two, three, four, five. Where's the number five? Hmm, this is the only pepperoni slice we haven't done. Does that fit? Oh, it does. Good job. Yay. You could even color in your pepperonis red, okay? I didn't even think about that when I was making it. That would be fun for you. And then you can serve everybody your pizza. It is time to say goodbye. You were so good at all of this, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great rest of your day.